Hey everyone, it's Lee from Social Snowflake and Snowflake Media here. I hope everybody's having a terrific week. Uh, today I just want to talk very briefly about sharing other people's posts on Facebook. Most people are familiar how to do this. If you go ahead and you see uh, somebody's post and you think that looks interesting, what you can do is go down to the bottom of that post and go ahead just here as you see and hit share. And if you hit that button, it will let you type a little comment in. So if we do this... We can type in, you know, great video, for example, and then you can get to share that with your audience. One of the challenges is, if you want to be super effective, you don't want to uh, keep going back time and time again to find things to share. Ideally, you'll find two, three, four, maybe even five things to share at the same time. Now, the problem with that is if you share one, two, three, four, five things in a row, Actually, the overall audience for that will be quite low, mainly because Facebook won't deliver it to everybody in such quick succession. Um, but also, uh, just like you, your uh, customers and readers uh, have limited time. So I want to show you today a quick tip that will save you lots of time. So when you see two or three things you want to share at the same time, we're going to show you now how to schedule that into the future. So what we do is if we took the same post... As you can see up here, I'm on the, the Best Starts uh, page, which is a really great uh, magazine um, uh, for, uh, for mums and toddlers. Uh, and actually, they have the number one, uh, as of this week, the number one community page on Facebook in the whole UK. Uh, that's in terms of engagement as ranked by uh, Facebook. In fact, they have a score of, uh, of a possible 193. So it's certainly worthwhile looking at what they're doing. Uh, however, back to the post. So if we see this post, but we've already just shared something a couple of minutes ago, what we can now do is where it has the time that it was published is a clickable link. If you go ahead and click that, you'll notice up here in the bar, the address bar, that it's changed to an individual post as opposed to something merely uh, that you're sharing. So if you go ahead and copy that whole post, and now go back and click to your own page. What you can do now is create a post. So I'm going to create a, whoop, a status. And in here we're going to say great video. We can even say great video from the best. Let's have a best start people. And then if I paste that link in, it now takes me to the video. But then importantly, I get this option down here, which is not available when sharing, which is set the date and time. So I may know that my audience is, let's say, very good at Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Well, I can go in there, and now I can just hit schedule. And I could do that three, four, maybe five times. Uh, so we could really go ahead and, uh, and schedule, as you see up here. And the good news is if I change my mind, if I see something that I think is even better and I want to go ahead and delete that, I can just go into the scheduled posts and if I choose, I can just go ahead and either reschedule uh, if I want to do it on a different time. I can go ahead and publish now or I can just go and delete post or just leave that run as normal. So it's a very effective way to save some time when you want to share multiple things and planning content for the rest of the week. And that really takes a little bit of pressure off the day-to-day -day role. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, obviously, more tips on our own page here at Social Snowflake. And certainly, uh, if you need any further assistance, just go ahead and hit comment underneath, and we'll be more than happy to help. But have a great weekend, and most of all, start thinking about your customers and what you can do to improve their lives.